in this transformative process, uh, we, we fail at work. And I know it's probably going to be a shock to some of you, but I failed at work a time or two um, over many years that I've worked. My, my wife has been there for me during all these failures. Um, and I was, so I was reading in this book, God at Work, and he grabbed me, grabbed me with this one sentence. And I was so mad because I was reading it. I was like this close to the end of the chapter. And then I had to stop here and then think about what that meant in my own life. And then it's like, oh, gosh, time to go to bed. So you know, I, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't finish the chapter till the next day. But he said this, failures in vocation happen all the time. Wise statesmen find themselves voted out of office. Noble generals lose the war. Workers lose their jobs, maybe because they are not good at what they do, despite what they thought. Um, so that reminds me of a time, and, and you might remember from my story last time, you know, we went from you know, math to ministry, and that was a kind of a calling, and then ministry kind of came to an abrupt end. And part of that was because we had a daughter who was at four months old, um, and we hadn't baptized her. And, because we really were of a Baptist tradition. Um, and I was in a Presbyterian church who uh, liked to baptize infants, and we didn't really feel like that was what we should do for our family, a personal decision. And there are Christians on both sides of that issue, but it was never really openly discussed, but we just kind of felt like there was a little bit of, um, they were wondering about, about Russ. So there was a time that I was on vacation, and they called me in from vacation and told me not to come back from vacation. So kind of humorous, but not really. Um, the, the world came crushing in, and my part-time youth ministry position went away, which was okay, because uh, even though I felt like, uh, like Joseph did uh, in Genesis 50, 20, where it says he's talking to his brothers, and this is at the end of his uh, journey you know, through uh, Egypt and Potiphar and the prison, and now he's at Pharaoh's palace, right? Um, he's talking to his brothers, and they've reunited, and he says, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So even though his brothers threw him in a pit and thought he'd be left for dead or sold as a slave, they had no idea that God was with him through all that, and in every job he had, they would, he would be put in a place where he would be able to help the entire nation of Israel um, get through a famine, which ended up, which is why they ended up in, in Egypt and needed to be delivered in the book of Exodus, right? So just like that, like Joseph, and I kind of felt that way towards uh, that church. You know, I, I thought that those who tossed me into a pit, so to speak, they might have meant to harm me, but I knew by faith, because I didn't really, it took a while to feel it, right? I knew that God had another purpose in mind. And of course, over, you know, as we went through that, um, you know, that detour set in motion an unexpected vocational journey for me. You know, that's how I got into the military. Um, and, and while I was kind of wrestling with all that, uh, we ended up going to a new church and talking to the pastor and getting some counsel on some of this. And he say, gave me something that just like the light went on. And I was like, okay, I now have hope. He said, when your dream dies, find a new dream. And she had wanted to be a youth pastor, really did, because I worked with a great youth pastor before I came to seminary, and you know, that's just like close the door. And here I had this young family, I had to go out and make a living. I didn't know what to do. But when your dream dies, find a new dream. So, you know, join the army and, and the rest is history. And as you know, God ultimately met our needs. Um, he, he built my faith as a result of that trial and redirected my life work, my life's purpose. And, and looking back on it, I have no bitterness. I have no, um, you know, ill thoughts towards that, that situation. And I wouldn't want to change a thing because it was really transformative in, in my own personal life and in my family's life. And, you know, believe it or not, in the army over a 20 year career um, and, several years as a civilian, um, I didn't stop failing. There were still failures along the way. Nothing is as dramatic as that. But, um, I, you know, e each of those times, God built me up as I leaned on him.